Hello there, I'm Toby. Well, I am when you look at me from a certain direction. From another direction, I'm David. Or maybe something completely different. Confused? Good! Then this video might clear things up. It's a mod spotlight dealing with a brand spanking new mod, QCraft. QCraft is a mod which is inspired by quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a hugely complicated and in-depth branch of physics, but I'll try and be as brief and simple as possible. The part of quantum mechanics which is shown in this mod deals with three simple ideas. Observational dependency, superposition and entanglement. Observational dependency simply means that what type a block is depends on what direction you look at it from. Superposition means that until you look at a block, it hasn't decided what it will be yet. And entanglement means that some blocks might be connected, so looking at one block will influence how the other block behaves. Okay, now we've got the heavy stuff out of the way, let's look at the mod itself. Firstly, it adds quantum ore into the game, from which you get quantum dust. From this quantum dust you can craft the essence of superposition, the essence of entanglement and the essence of observation. These are all made using four pieces of dust in these patterns and all have different properties. Essence of observation is used to make an observer dependent block. Place the essence here in this pattern and remember that these blocks can be whatever you want them to be. Once you've made your particular observer dependent block, place it on the ground. Here's the sciency bit, the block will change its type depending on which direction you look at it from. So we put red wool in the up slot, meaning that when we observe it from above it becomes that block. You might need to stop observing before attempting to change the block type. A quantum block works in the same way, using essence of superposition rather than the essence of observation, with one large difference. There is a 50-50 chance that when you look at a quantum block from the east, say, it could become the block type from the west instead. This works with north and south and up and down. Of course, if the north and south blocks are both, say, glass, then it will always resolve itself to be glass from those two directions. These two blocks in themselves open up a range of possibilities, from a wall disappearing depending on where you observe it from, to possibly having to look at something more than once before it turns into glass and you can see through it. There's a whole host of different ways that these blocks can be used. Let's look at the next block. You can add an essence of entanglement to multiple observer dependent blocks or quantum blocks to create entangled blocks. These blocks work in the same way as their original ODBs or QBs, but all the blocks will behave that way at once. Basically, when I look at this entangled block and it becomes this type, I know that all the placed entangled blocks in this set will do the same thing. Meaning that if it made this block stop existing, all of them would stop existing. Think of the trap possibilities. That about wraps it up for this video, bar one more item. Once your quantum block, observer dependent block or entangled block is placed, it's quite hard to see whether it's a QCraft block or it's just a normal block. Simply equip the quantum goggles in your helmet space and a funky HUD will come up, showing you around. There's more involved in QCraft, including quantum computers. We'll be bringing a video out soon talking about those. Thanks for watching, and I hope we didn't boggle your mind too much.